Hi, I am Dr. Amitabh Goel, uh, Senior Director Neurosurgery at Max Hospital, Patpargan, Delhi. And today I am going to explain to you about what is Parkinsonism, what it entails, how it affects people and what are the medical and surgical managements of this condition. So most people are in the age group of 55-60 and they present to us in the OPD, usually a neurology OPD where they would complain of having tremors, they would complain of having difficulty eating, breaking bread, walking and generally looking after themselves. So in this condition, once the workup of the diagnosis is complete, which is usually done by basic blood test and MRI, once the diagnosis has been made, the neurologist usually starts some medication to which most patients respond well. Once the optimum dose of medication has been reached and the patient starts feeling better, the role of surgery diminishes. However, in some patients, either the effect of the medicine wanes off after a period of few months to few years or the dose of medication has to be increased to a level where it is no longer tolerated by the person. In such patients, we would need other surgical managements in the form of either lesioning or in the form of what is called as deep brain stimulation. Lesioning basically means that you are creating a small area of damage inside the center of the brain in the particular nucleus or area of the brain where this disease is originating from. So once that area has been damaged by the help of radio frequency or by uh, MR focused ultrasound, then uh, it is non-reversible. So one would try to avoid a condition where you are creating a lesion which is non-reversible because if that lesion is wrongly placed, then that part of the brain has been permanently damaged. Keeping this condition in mind and these problems in mind, another technique of surgery was devised, which is called deep brain stimulation, where no brain damage occurs or no area of the brain is damaged. Instead, a particular area of the brain, a nucleus of the brain is stimulated using wires or electrodes placed inside the center of the brain on both sides and which is the connected to a battery which is placed just below the shoulder. Once the correct placement of these electrodes has been done and the battery has been connected, the patients can have magical improvements in their condition. They are able to walk better, they are able to eat better, they are able to hold a spoon better and their doses of medications are completely stopped or sometimes they have to take a small amount of medication along with that DBS procedure. This DBS procedure is done inside the operation theater and with the patient completely awake and talking to the neurosurgeon, which means that once the electrodes are being placed inside the brain, at that time, the patient's activities of the hands and legs, the speech are all being monitored in real time by a neurologist. This helps in preventing any damage to the brain once when the electrodes are being placed. The machine once installed is ready for action the moment it is installed, which means that the next day one can switch on the machine and see the effect and fine tune the electrode function in the form of delivery of the current and amplitude as well as the frequency. So if somebody is suffering from Parkinsonism, there is no need to lose any hope. Even if you are failed your medical trial, you may benefit greatly from what is called as deep brain stimulation. It is a safe procedure. The person is discharged in two to three days and there is usually a magical response to this. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.